You know that picture? I actually spent a lot of time on it during the lecture. So I went through during the lecture and told you about isovolumetric contraction, that's number four, and isovolumetric relaxation, number seven, and the dichrotic notch, B. I did all that stuff in lecture. I also went down and told you how if you take, uh, this is your end diastolic volume and this is your end systolic volume, but you notice how the heart's not empty, there's still 50 mLs left. So I said, well, this is called your, this is called your stroke volume right here. The amount of blood that you pumped is your EDV minus your ESV. Did that during lecture. And then I said what you could do is you could take your stroke volume divided by the total, the total amount of blood in your heart, F, and your stroke volume was uh, 130 minus 50, what's 130, 80? Your stroke volume was 80, right? But you had 130 mils of blood in your heart, what's your ejection fraction? 80 divided by 130. You guys remember that in lecture or no? Tell me if you don't. So this graph tells you a lot. So up here, look at this. This is pressure and these these lines, one's the, this is the aorta, this is the left atrium, this is the left ventricle. So look at your lines, they're labeled for you. Left ventricle, left atrium, aorta, and this is pressure. So look how the pressure goes up, okay? So look at the pressure in my aorta. So let me ask you one thing. What's going on in A? The pressure in my ventricle now supersedes the pressure in my aorta. What's going on in A? What valve's opening? Yeah, the aortic semilunar valve's opening. How do I know? Because the left ventricular pressure just exceeded the aortic pressure. The aortic semilunar valve just opened. B is where the aortic semilunar valve shut. Seven is isovolumetric relaxation. You already pumped all the blood out. You're not changing any more volume, but your heart's relaxing. All right? And four, by the way, is isovolumetric contraction. Does it make sense to you that if my, if my fist is my heart, if there's no blood in there and I keep getting bigger, that the pressure's going down? Does it make sense to you that if this is filled with blood and I start squeezing it, the pressure goes up if it's not moving? See, it can't go anywhere yet because I haven't gone through the valve. So isovolumetric contraction, the pressure goes up, you're not moving blood isovolumetric relaxation, you're not moving blood, but the pressure goes down because your heart's relaxing, getting bigger. Uh, what else? Down here, I have my end diastolic volume, which is F. That's how much blood is in your heart before it beats. I have my end systolic volume, G. That's how much blood is in your heart after it beats, okay? Now, is it all the blood in the heart? Nope, there's 50 mils still, still left in the heart. So how much did I pump out? End diastolic minus end systolic. That's how much I pumped out. That's my stroke volume, all right? So E is my stroke volume. Right there is E, stroke volume. 